Oracle Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and PsychicsLive.com.au. Today we're going to bring you your October forecast for 2024. So we're going to start off with some energies. Thank you to all our beautiful subscribers, everybody that's liked the videos, shared the videos. If you haven't and you'd like to, we welcome you with open up arms and lots of love. Thank you. Let's go. Energy for Scorpio, please. One, two, three. There you go, Scorpio. What the first one is with Archangel Michael, number 22, which is a master number. Open your heart. And what it says is no one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. I feel here that you're either being too hard, Scorpio, on yourself or on somebody else. Or something has happened that you've had to question someone's love or someone's integrity. Here, I feel that you are a little bit uneasy at the moment. Um, something that you thought was maybe proved you otherwise or something that showed up as a red flag. But there's something here that you're not sitting well with and that's to do with the heart matters. So it's either someone you're involved with or people from your family. It's, it's to do with people who mean the world to you. Someone here has made you raise a question mark about something. Yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. For somebody here that had a feeling or a thought of starting something new or going down a certain path, you did what was right. And they're just, they're just saying to you here, Scorpio, don't doubt yourself. The thought and the feeling that you had was absolutely correct and you are on the right path or doing what's right for you. Put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark up your creativity, help you communicate your vision and motivate you to create something beautiful. Right now, it's not about questioning yourself. Go with your intuition, how you feel and what you want to create. It's not by mistake that you're feeling or thinking the way you are. There's something here that requires action. And rather than thinking about it, they're asking you to put your thoughts into practice and action something that's going to be very successful for you. Sometimes we get some intuitions or we get some thought processes and we don't understand why they're coming on strong. And that's because it's saying to you, Scorpio, you are on the right path. You have got the right thoughts. You know what you need to do. Okay, let's see with the tarot. What else do we have for Scorpio, please, for October? So in October, you're going to be very creative, very intuitive, very aware of what's taking place around you. Justice. For many of you here, if you were going through some tough times or uh, wanting to find uh, a result, things are going to work out. It's like your scales may have been out of balance before, but now you're going to find the balance that you need. And this is a Libra card, so you may be dealing with someone who's a Libra. Or you may have Libra very strong in your sign. Three of Wands. What does the world have for me? Someone here is contemplating moving to another location, another city, another place. You're moving jobs, moving areas, moving homes. Um, here there's movement. It's like you're wanting a new adventure. You're wanting something new. You're wanting to start something new. And you're looking out saying there has to be more for me out there. And remember we said here, oh, look at that, the Eight of Cups, you're leaving something behind. Remember we said here that your thoughts and your feelings are guiding you to a certain place down a different path. This is it. You're leaving a current location that you're in or you're leaving a current job, a relationship, a place.
place to find your tranquility and your peace look at the sun in that card it's like now i know where i'm headed now i know what i've got to do in october you're going to have a very big feeling of now is the time for me to make that move now is the time for me to act Didn't fall. King of Swords. And you're not going to act strategic. Sorry, you're not going to act emotionally. Because Scorpio, you're the cups. You're your emotions. Here, it's you're changing to the concept of strategic. You're going to be very strategic in your moves, in your plans, in what you want and what you want to achieve. You're going to have a plan in place and that's what you're going to follow. It's like somebody here is not allowing their emotions to make decisions. You're going to make decisions based very much in your thoughts and in your planning. The Hierophant. You've come a long way, Scorpio. You've had to deal with certain things in your life and every step brought you a learning and more knowledge. So much so that you are ready to make the changes you need to make. This is you saying, now I see where my path is. Now I know what my purpose is. Now I feel and I know what I want to do. This is someone finding their place in this world, finding their purpose and their reason. In October, it's like the, it's an eye-opening for you. It's like this big, um, if you were lost, Scorpio, throughout the year, in October, you're going to have that, that boom of this is it. And you're going to know it. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. And you're going to work towards it or walk towards that part, that place, that, that person, that job. For every, everybody's a different circumstance. For someone here, you just want to be treated fairly. All you want is you're after balance in your life. It's like I need to find something or do something that allows me to have a very clear balance in my life. <laughs> the Empress, the new beginning, the birth of a new idea, a new thought. For those of you that want to have a baby, a huge fertility month in October. A, a month of creativity, a month of giving birth, a month of creating spectacular things in your life. It's a whole new month of this is me, this is the new me. Divine guidance, look at that. The search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, surrender yourself with wise teachers or friends. It's like for too long you held back starting this new project or this new thing of becoming this new person you've always wanted to be for moving to another location you've put it on the back burner for too long this new move this new thing that you are creating it's been on your mind forever but now you're getting the guidance divine guidance to say Scorpio follow your heart and I know you're going to plan strategically because that is the king of, of swords. And here, you, whilst you plan strategically, you're also going to follow your heart as in, I know I need to be there. You're not going to allow your heart to stop you anymore. It's like... You're going to use it to guide you, but you're not going to allow other people that you care for and love to stop you doing what you need to do. Where I feel in the past you may have done that. This is all Major Arcana. Look at this, the Emperor. You're taking control of your destiny. I know what I want to live. I know where I want to be in five and ten years' time. I'm going to work towards that now so that I can sit on my throne and I can look back and think, how wonderful was that?
It may have been hard. It may have been questionable. But I didn't give up. I had a purpose. I had a focus. And I had a reason. It's like somebody here is starting to realise that you need to take control of your life. And if anyone's going to change your life, it's going to be you. It's a big mess here, isn't it? And I don't like messes. I have got Virgo in my moon sign. And that bothers me, even if cards are on the, a, a bit swayed to the left or to the right. I know that's really particular, but that's me. <laughs> Night of Ariel. There is so much to accomplish. Make every detail plan. Being watched by, over by someone kind. Remember I said to you, you're going to make plans and they're going to be strategic. You've got a guide guiding you. Remember the divine guide here? Divine guidance. This is all interlinked. Your plans are not by mistake. Your thoughts are not by mistake. You are being guided and, and taken to a place of success. Of in, in, The emperor is someone who, who makes their call, lives by the sword and makes the decisions they need to. And is not afraid to put in the hard yards. Okay, what's the last message we have for Scorpio? So October for you, Scorpio, is going to be a huge eye-opener and very much so going towards the path of success, building on your emperor, your, your imperium. Chop wood. Here, Scorpio, you're going to clean out everything or anyone from your life that no longer brings anything positive into your life. All the toxic people, all the toxic situations, everything that you don't want to do anymore, anything that you don't want to hold on to anymore, you're going to give away. And you're going to walk away from that, walk away from a place that no longer serves you, a job that doesn't fulfill you, a relationship that doesn't make sense anymore. People of the family that have always been a hindrance rather than a positive influence in your life. This is you cleaning out even clothes in your wardrobe. The new you is going to be reborn. And that's purely because you put too, too much on the back burner for too long. Putting everyone else in front. And this is you now saying enough. Today I need to take, or this month, not today, but this month of October is going to be the turning point for my new chapter. And anything before that that doesn't complement where I'm going needs to, needs to go. I hope that makes sense, Scorpio, for somebody here. Lots of love and light your way. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.